Hey Daniel, how's it going? Hey Elliot, hi. Oh man, sorry, I've had a really rough weekend and I couldn't make it to your housewarming party. It's just work, it's been nuts. What's been going on? <sighs> well, we've got this production release next week and we've got some external developers. They've submitted their stuff on the deadline day, which was Friday, and firstly in our tests, oh man, it just doesn't work and I've had to unpick it by hand. And it's certainly not helped that they've not followed our coding guidelines. We also had some other underlying app changes that they've just not incorporated into their development. And they say they've done testing, but I've got absolutely no visibility of what tests they ran and what cover test coverage exists. Arrgh! Now, I know you take a similar approach to development in your company, but I never hear you whinging about this stuff. What am I doing wrong, man? <laughs> Well, you know, we used to have a lot of the same problems um, and we managed to solve, solve a lot of them really well with the testing tools that we're using now. So, for example, when we uh, have a vendor, a partner helping us uh, with delivery of our automation code, we'll agree the tests uh, and test cases that need to be created as part of the specification. And then we can hand that over to them to do the delivery and they can give us not only the automation workflows, but also all of the tests along with the, uh, the whole piece of work. So we can then run all of those tests against our different environments, make sure that everything works the way we expect it to before signing off on the delivery. And then we have all of those tests so we can see you know, what's been tested, we can confirm all of that and we can continue running the tests over time to make sure that all the workflows still work with any other changes that we make. Um, and then we've got a workflow analyzer that we can run against all of the code to check that the coding standards and guidelines are being followed. So that's really useful to maintain the consistency in the coding standards between our own developers and, and different development teams and also any partners that we have doing development for us as well. Uh, and as for the application changes, you know, we run uh, nightly regression checks against all of our different applications and environments. So if there are any changes that don't get communicated to us via the normal business change process, which to be honest, it does happen sometimes, we can catch those changes really early so we can uh, make sure we make any changes or communicate those changes to the partners so they can incorporate it into their development as they go. You know, that all makes perfect sense. And I can see how a unified platform, I guess, that brings it all together and enforces coding guidelines and shows what test coverage you have avoids some of the problems I had at source. I've got to have me a bit of that. So what is this platform you're using? Uh, so it's the UiPath test suite. Okay. And how do I find out more about that? So there's loads of uh, great free training available on UiPath Academy. So you can go over there. There's a course on the UiPath test suite. And you, can, you can learn all about it. Fantastic. I'm seriously going to have to check that out. Oh, and I still have that housewarming gift for you. Thanks, Elliot. I owe you, man. No problem. <laughs>